If you think being an art YouTuber is easy, watch this video till the end. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. While I'm here talking about stuff, you can watch me paint this golden retriever on the background. Now let's just move on. First of all, many people think that being an art YouTuber is just so easy. You just have to paint or draw something uh, which is kind of fun and edit it and upload it to YouTube. That's it. We are done. That's all that there is to do. That's what many people think. Even I thought this way because when I was just a viewer on YouTube, when I was not a content creator, everything else was just so easy. It seemed easy. They just had to paint something very stunning and upload it to YouTube and the video is going to go viral. That's what I thought. But as soon as I started to be a content creator, I quickly learned that this isn't the case because YouTube is tough. There's a whole lot more behind being an art YouTuber than just creating wonderful pieces of art. I had to learn about the YouTube algorithm, it's SEO the search engine optimization and how to do the video metadata, the titles, descriptions, thumbnails, tags, all sorts of stuff which I'm still learning by the way. If you are a fellow creator on YouTube, I bet you can relate to that. And you can't just draw or paint anything that you want because you still have to see whether it's trending or whether it's still people searching for and then you have to decide what to draw and what not to draw. But still, you have to come up with new ideas for your channel and that can be infinity times stressful because when I first started out my YouTube channel, I had 10 great ideas. At least I thought they were great. And once I'm done filming it, I was just blank. I had no idea what to do next. I had no one good idea that was worth filming. As a result, my uploading schedule was just all over the place it was so erratic and i used to upload one video per week sometimes two to three per week or nothing at all and that's a huge factor because if i am to grow on youtube i have to be consistent with my videos i have to upload videos on a regular basis but if i don't have any ideas at all how am i able to do that well let's just say that you have that under control. You have your ideas flowing from this wonderful, magical idea fountain. But it still takes a lot of time to create just one video. Let's say you spend 5 to 7 hours on your drawing, whether it be watercolors or color pencils or oil pastels or maybe even acrylics. It takes that much time. And oh, that's not all. You have to film the whole process of drawing, and to do that, you have to set up your camera or your phone whichever it is that you are using and that takes time too let's say you've done all that and you have your videos ready that's not all you still have to take good pictures for your thumbnails and you have to edit all those videos by yourself go through all those hours of footage or minutes if you're taking it in time lapse and decide which areas you want to trim which areas you want to join together all the stuff in order to do that you have to learn about the software if you are using your phone then you have to find a very good editing app that does the job for you and you have to learn it in and out you need to know how to trim it how to add text how to add music all that sort of stuff you have to learn it all by yourself learning that app takes time editing your videos takes time Let's say you have all of that figured out, you know how to use that app, you still have to think about your schedule. If you have seen videos that shows you tips and tricks about how to grow on YouTube, you would have heard this phrase. Content is king and consistency is key. If you have, then let me know in the comments below because I have heard it a million times. And each and every one of those videos are going to tell you to have a specific schedule so that you can be consistent with your videos. So now I have a schedule that is to upload new videos every Thursdays 
and Sundays and this restricts the amount of time that I get to make my drawings because I'm always on a timeline. I have to finish the drawing within this particular time and edit it within this particular time and upload it within this particular time because I have a deadline for it. So that kind of takes away the joy and fun of painting something because I'm always under the pressure of time to finish that painting. Well, now let's talk about consistency. It's not only about uploading videos consistently to YouTube like one videos a week or two videos a week. It's not only about that. You have to keep creating content with quality consistently. You can't be stuck with the same bad lighting, same bad background, the same bad boring setup. You can't do that. You have to keep improving your video quality and you have to keep improving your drawing skills like crazy because with the restricted time that you get because of your fixed schedule that kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone and also makes you put a lot of pressure on yourself. In my 2020 YouTube journey video that I dedicated to all of your support watching this video right now you can clearly see what I'm talking about because you can clearly see my improvements from then and now so don't forget to check that out. Let's say you know how to take good videos, you know how to edit, you know all that stuff, you have all these ideas flowing right now. Even if you get past all those things and put up your videos on YouTube, let me be brutally honest with you. You're not going to get more than 10 views if you're starting out. Yes, that's right. 10 views. I still remember so many days where I'll just draw or paint something for 6 to 7 hours straight or maybe even more than that. Once I've done, I just start editing it and I upload it as soon as I can in hope that I would get maybe more than 20 views. But I just got around 7 to 9 views for the whole week. This happens to any new art YouTuber because of the complex YouTube algorithm that says a particular video needs this amount of watch time or this amount of audience attention for it to be promoted by YouTube itself. For that to happen, you need to have subscribers. And if you're starting out, you know your subscribers because they are your friends and your families and they're going to watch your videos, but that's not enough you need a lot more than that. It's been almost a year on YouTube and I still remember getting excited and happy to get one to two subscribers per month. Sometimes people will unsubscribe and that was really hurtful at that point of time but not so much now. Many are concerned with numbers like how many views this video has and how many subscribers this channel has and so was I in the beginning. As a result, I had high expectations for the first few videos that I uploaded because I thought this video is going to get thousands of views within just a matter of 2-3 to three days but that never happened. Once my expectations were shattered, I realized the most important thing. I started seeing numbers as persons because even if one of you watch my video and if you subscribe to this channel. That's kind of like a huge deal for me because I somehow impressed you and made you want to subscribe to this channel and that's um, huge and that's why I'm really thankful for each and every one of you for supporting this channel in any way possible whether it be liking a video or sharing your thoughts in the comments, subscribing to this channel or just simply watching any one of my videos because that's kind of a big deal for me. Thank you so much for that. I know today's video is a bit different than usual but I guess you got some insights on what goes on behind being an art YouTuber that do a small art YouTuber. I guess you liked it. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye everybody!